The apart market in Sarasota, Bradenton posted some surprisingly big revenue growth numbers through 2011 and the first quarter of 2012. But in Q2, we saw some slowdown. Could that be a sign of things to come? Welcome to Apart Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Sarasota Bradenton update. A few months back, we talked about how some of the secondary apart markets in Florida are doing, and there are a bunch of them. But three that were standing out at the time were Fort Myers, Naples, the Fort Walton Beach area, and Sarasota Bradenton. But in these smaller markets, a lot could change and very quick, and that appears to be happening in Sarasota Bradenton. So let's show you what happened in Q2, starting with occupancy. Occupancy at 96.4% in Q1, but then fell 90 basis points to Q2 in Q2 to 95.5%. Still a very healthy rate, one of the best in all of Florida, and it's still up 70 basis points year over year. And occupancy here took a really big hit during the downturn, which was common in a lot of beach markets, but came back very strong in 2011. And occupancy is still healthy in all product age groups and submarkets, the two of them. Better in Sarasota, 96%, but that is down 90 basis points in the quarter versus 95% in Bradenton, down 100 basis points in the quarter. And let's switch to rents. And we saw an even bigger slowdown in annual rent growth levels in Q2. Annual rent growth cooled from 5.8% in Q1 to 3.2% in Q2. The market had been in that 5 to 6% range for four straight quarters. Some big growth, certainly a lot more than expected. So it's not a surprise to see some cooling there among the product age groups all around that 3% mark. Between the submarkets, Sarasota is at 3.6% annual rent growth, down from 8.3% one quarter ago. And Bradenton is at 2.7%, down from 3.3% last quarter. Although in 2011, Bradenton saw annual rent growth as high as 7%. Now, one big reason we thought that even moderately solid rent growth wouldn't be sustainable in Sarasota Bradenton is the local economy. We have seen some job growth of late, but just not very much, certainly not enough to, fulfill, to fill the hole made during the recession. In the past year, 1,800 jobs added, expansion of 0.7%. But as I mentioned, that's not nearly enough to make up for the serious damage done during the downturn. Take a look at this table. We're looking at proportional net job change since the start of 2008 in the nation's 100 largest markets. And you can see that Sarasota Bradenton comes in third worst in the country and the worst outside Nevada. There are 10.3 fewer jobs in Sarasota Bradenton today than there were at the start of 2008. That's a huge hole. And you'll notice that next door Fort Myers Naples is next on the list, followed by West Palm Beach. And if we were to go further down, it probably wouldn't surprise you to know that the bottom 13 metros are all from Nevada, Florida, California, or Arizona, all bubble busted housing markets. So with that economic backdrop, it wouldn't be surprising to see revenue growth levels continue to be easing in the Sarasota Bradenton apart market, especially with home sales that have been picking up and with more shadow market inventory available, that being privately owned condos and single family homes available for rent competing with renters. So we're not expecting to see a comeback to those 2011 revenue growth levels. And that wraps it up for Sarasota Bradenton. So until next time for Apart Market Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's apartment market reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, NPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.